Four months after they were first closed, there was a sense of excitement as many traders opened for work today in the shopping arcades in the city. Many told us they were ready to implement the guidelines provided by the president in his latest address on COVID-19. It was really so good for us because we, we spent four months at home without working, yet the parents have to feed their children. They recounted the losses they incurred in this period. So some of the clients would call you in, during the lockdown and they tell them like, what of the clothes that we had booked? Eh? And you even don't have an answer to tell them. We've made loss, a big loss in batteries. Some of those covers are seasonal. We've lost many. We've lost a very big deal. However, some were disappointed to find their shops still locked over accumulated rent. We have spent four months at home, busy sleeping, without doing anything, without earning anything. So where do you think we are going to get money to pay you? This prompted the city traders leadership to petition the government to intervene. For you to charge me 15 million, do, 15 million Uganda shillings in areas, yet the capital I have is 10 million. And it is the basis of which I have been paying you for all the years I've occupied the premises. So I will abandon the goods. You will also abandon them because you don't know where to sell them. Even if you are to sell them, you cannot realize the, the amount that is in it. But still, we are requesting him to negotiate with Bank of Uganda so that he can waive the interest rate on loans which landlords got so that they can also give back to the tenants because the rate is so high and then we are requesting him to intervene. When he intervenes, everything will be at, at, at stake because he's the one to decide the situation. In response, Trade Minister Media Chamber de pledged to engage the landlords to establish why they had not complied with the presidential call on deferring grants. And trying to appeal to them to ensure that they reduce on the, on the months, because some of them were asking for two, three months at that time, or they exempt their landlords from, but it has, some have complied. As the traders in the 110 arcades allow to open for business get their act together, many have vowed to enforce the presidential directives on COVID-19 to avoid another closure. Stephen Mbide, NTV Tonight.